Hello. Welcome to Cthulhu Rises, Everyone Dies, presented by Murder Hobo Inc. Tonight, we will be calling Cthulhu to rise so that everyone dies. What? No. Good luck. Oh, hey, everybody. How are we doing tonight? This is uh, what I said already, and I guess I spooked everyone else, so they're all shutting up their mutes. Mics? Mutes? I don't know what I'm talking about. How's everyone doing? I'm good. Although I'm wondering, why the hell are we in the wrong spots? Are we in the wrong spots? Yep, we're in the I'm wrong spots. Wait, I know how to fix some... this. I know how to fix this. Everybody hop off until we go around. All right. Am I, I in the right, in the right spot, spot now? We're doing okay. musical chairs. Nope, that did not work. Now let's see. Wait, wait. wait. All right, all right. Not quite. Leo's nope. the GM. Oh. Nope. Yeah, welcome to my yeah. team. <laughs> 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 what the hell happened? Otherwise, I'm great. Let's I see. I was in the right spot, and then you had to move me. I'm not the warlock, folks. All yeah, right. close enough. I'm on. Well. To while the photo person does the thingy, I forgot his name, um, Frank, uh, this is why we prefer to have Carrie do the shows, but her time <laughs> is valuable, and Frank has nothing else better to do. Guys, we are Murder Hobo Inc., the cred campaign. Uh, you can follow us on Twitch, you can follow us on Twitter, you can find out all of our stuff on the YouTube archives, as well as previous campaigns featuring some of the people here tonight, uh, but not all of them. Cleo. Um... <laughs> Ah, uh, gosh. Oh, yeah. If you want to buy uh, some cool and awesome swag, I, I don't have the actual uh, script in front of me, Carol. So, you know, if I... What? Then... Oh, do, do, you need, do you need me to do it? Because I remember it. Oh, do you? Uh, see, I remember it, but it takes me a while to uh, think about it because I am... I have PTSD from screaming children. <laughs> well... You can follow us on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitter. You can check out our YouTube archives. What? I pressed the wrong button. Oh my god! Did Kyle just fuck us up again? Kyle! I pressed the, the middle, wrong button. In the middle of my speak. All right. So what did I say? If you want to buy some cool stuff, you can follow it at one of the links above here. If you actually we got it, we got it. Wait, wait, wait. He posted wait, wait. it. It's tiny URL. Yeah. .com slash oh, slash oh, RPG swag. swag. RPG swag. And of course, we have a Discord if you want to just chat to us about DD or whatever you want. Uh, what else is there? Let's see. Yeah, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, which has all our, 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 all of our old episodes. audio podcast. The audio podcast. You can find us there. And if you want a seat at this table for the one shots or between the rolls, which is our attempt at a talk show. You can always just email Frank, our fearless leader, at um, mpubblewink at gmail.com or hit him up on Twitter. Bam. Guys, we have Bam. very special sponsors tonight. Uh, I would like to show <laughs> you my dog poop dice created by Pirate Dog Dice. Aww. Or when you're rolling like shit, get some dog poop dice. These are Steven dog poop dice. As you can tell, I'm not actually holding anything up. Because she hasn't made them yet, and I'm impatient, and I'm putting the pressure on her, and she's going to be very mad. Uh, and when your game Thank smells you like dog shit. It's not easy. Let me tell I, you. I got non-dog shit dice, so. Oh, yeah. I got crazy. awesome dice. I love my dice. Yeah. So, you know, hit her up, but do it after she makes my Steven dog shit dice. But again, if your games are smelling like dog shit, may I suggest pulling up some adventure scents like Musky Library or Caitlin's Chlamydia Fence Post? What? Or what? What? I I'm pretty sure it's been a long time, but uh, they are making that. No, it was Carol's Chlamydia Fence Post. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it was Caitlin. I think it was my name. Hmm. That's what Carol's the most offended different. about is that 
uh, excuse me, that's my fence post that has chlamydia. Yes, and yeah, me yeah. Here, for some reason, it wasn't an actual direct reference and insult to me at the time. So, yes, that is true. That is true. Uh, guys, tonight, uh, well, we're kind of in a situation, and uh, yeah. I guess you guys could introduce yourself and we could stall this a little bit longer. Or we could just get started with combat. I can tell you guys how royally screwed you are, and then we can start from there. Ah, I see a head nod from our ah, eager friend. Ah, let's do intros. Come on. Let's do intros. Okay, to the man who is uh, drowning underwater with only <laughs> rounds to live. Ugh, no, I can't get out of the way enough. Okay. Riley, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, so my name's Ernest. Now I'm playing Riley, the uh, half elf warlock. And Riley's a little bit of book nerd. I'm not even sure if he can swim. So this will be interesting because last session he was just thrown off the boat into the water and he's being held by a deep one. And I have three rounds until I suffocate. So I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> Jeremiah saves me. Suffocation, no reason. Uh, also being attacked by deep ones, uh, probably more so than anyone else, we have Bran. Hello, I am Bran, and I'm probably going to die. No! But at least I will go to the embrace of my queen. Ooh. Uh, the person who will be uh, slayed and flayed next to Bran, we have Anja! Hey, all. My real name is Carol, and hopefully Bram will not die. I'm right there, so hopefully I'm giving him another target to split the damage up. Uh, let's see. I am also a longtime gamer, occasional GM, a commission mini painter, and I also can be seen on Between the Rolls and the One Shots. So, and can't wait to play. Completely untouched. Actually, you know what? Let's just Give her some damage right now, anyway. No, that's uh, not take... uh, no, <laughs> Kyle. No, bad GM. <laughs> we have Cleo, who was missing last Thursday, uh, but while she was sleeping under the boat, while everybody got hurt and was saving everyone else's lives. Uh, and well, go ahead and introduce yourself, Cleo. Casually train going off in the background. <laughs> You're in New Jersey. They have trains there? I thought it would be like a boat. <laughs> I'm Caitlin. I play Cleo, the female Asmar sorceress. And yeah, I missed last week. So while I was personally sleeping in real life, I guess so was Cleo, which is fine. We're just going to say she also got her second COVID vaccine. So she was just knocked out. That's what happens. That's fair. <laughs> See, I was picturing because these yahoos were busy getting washed overboard, they weren't handling the cargo that was moving back and forth, getting ready to tip the entire ship into the water. I figure you single-handedly stopped every single cargo and got it all strapped in by yourself. And I thought that was amazing and super heroic. No, no, yeah, Nebby helped. I remember. That's right, Nebby. It's in my helped. notes. No. <laughs> <laughs> everything is in those notes. Not everything. I forgot the, the order of initiative for the monsters. I only know us. Three rounds left. Do you have Cleo's <laughs> initiative, or do I need to have her roll? It, well, without the monsters, it was... I don't have the actual numbers. I just have the order. Uh, where <laughs> was it? Where was it? I know it was Jeremiah first, that's for sure. We have oh, Jeremiah, Riley. Jeremiah, Riley, Bran, Anja, and there was no initiative for Cleo. <coughs> All right. Cleo, do me a favor. Go ahead and roll initiative while I get ready to say. You can type it into the text box there. What happened last week? These folks survived a terrible, awful hurricane that, wow, that was crappy, Cleo. You are definitely going to be the death of all of them. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to be the death of all of us. I rolled two twos last time in my first attack. <laughs> they uh, uh, were uh, surrounded by darkness that blotted out the sky, the sun, even the Lady of Light that you folks have kept hearing about. Green lightning, green fire, huge waves crashed aboard the ship. You lost your mast. You were rudderless. 
you had water leaking on board, you were fucked at sea. When the storm let up and a exhausted sleep, you woke up midday next to the island of Farzeen, uh, which Captain Kenza told you that's what the island was. She's sure of it. You know, when there's a volcano and you're in the middle of uh, uh, the sea that you're in, it's most likely Farzeen. And so she set to row you all ashore on the skiff large enough to fit almost everybody. Mozetta, your giant undead companion thing, uh, was deemed too injured and couldn't leave the boat anyway. Uh, Captain Kenza grabbed the uh, um, cargo that was easily carried, hopped on board the skiff, and you started going in. Uh, when you were suddenly stopped by something underwater... Two deep ones came up, springing up and attacking you. The large one, a giant-sized deep one, catapulted our drowning Riley 20 feet away into the water where the other deep one, who had been fighting the valiant Jeremiah, swam up to Riley and began to hold on to him as he begins to drown. He has three rounds left before he immediately dies. No, Meanwhile, I'm not scared the rest of at all. You are facing off against the massive deep. Can one. we have a compromise? Instead of immediately dying, I just lose one intelligence point for every round <laughs> beyond that because my brain is losing <laughs> oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, the uh that's the NPC rule, is if the NPCs die, they have a certain amount of rounds that they can be brought back before they die. You guys just have death saves that you fail. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, so, we will start off at the top with our wonderful, our helpful uh, Jeremiah, who is underwater in a sea of blackness. Uh, and not knowing what's going around, because he managed to cut one of the deep ones quite badly, he tries to see what's going on, does so, and begins to make his way over to poor Riley. Unable to do so, he makes a dash over there, and you are next to Jeremiah, which brings us to Riley. What would you like to do on one of your last rounds alive? Uh, I mean, oh. I mean, this round. So, just to understand what's going on, is mm -hmm. the deep one holding me mm -hmm. underwater? The deep one is holding you underwater. Uh, cool. I'll try and slash at its flipper or whatever it is that's holding me. Do you want to try to escape or do you want to try to attack it and damage it? Oh, well, the slash was to try and escape. Okay. Go ahead and give me an athletics or acrobatics roll. It is your choice. Uh, all right. I Let's know. do acrobatics. Okay. I got a two, but I got a plus three. So that was a five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is going to go well. I can tell. Oh, God. Don't worry about it. Let me pull up the stats here. That's not it. Da -da, deep one of doom. Yeah, no, this is going to be fine. Oh, that is a five on the die. Uh, you are held underwater, Riley. And let's take that three rounds to two rounds. I'm actually doing that right now. Else. He's got his name <laughs> in Zoom as Drowning Riley, two rounds left. All right, Bran, you are up. And I will oh. say, as much damage as you have taken, you have given almost an equal amount of damage back to it. Yes, well, hopefully if I can hit hit, hit this large creature, mm -hmm. rocking the boat is not helping, but let's try anyways. I, uh, one tie point left, it looks like. So I will slash at it with my dagger first. Okay. I get an 11 to hit. That'll miss. Damn it! Bum, 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 bum. I'll use my last Kai point. Okay. Do a flurry of blows. Okay. 
Come on, Bran. He's gonna, gonna die, die, gonna die, die. That's an eight for the first one. Jesus that miss. Well. Fifteen for the third one. Just misses. What? Sixteen to hit. Are you freaking kidding? All right. So you just start swinging away, but the boat rocking underneath you, you do not have that stable stance you need to really drive home a blow and just the attacks against it, bouncing off chitinous armor, you do no damage and it stares you in the face. But our good friend Anja is there as well, so I would be remiss if I didn't uh, roll the C. Uh, Odds Anja even... Oh, okay. Odds for the okay. first one. Odds for the second one. You take two here. Why do I keep rolling this dice thing when it's all the way over here? <laughs> we have a... It's going to be a... 17 to hit. Miss. And the other one is a miss as well. Yeah! And try and takes these huge shark bites out of you. Shoot, you dodge shoot. to the left, dodge to the right. And we are at you, Anja. I'm going to put Hunter's Mark on him. And I'm going to try to hit him with my two weapons. All right. Come on. That was... De- oh, well, I still rolled a two on one of the dice, but the first one was a 15 plus six is 21. That'll hit. Yeah, so that would be my scimitar. Did you have Hunter's Mark on from last time, or is this I don't something you're think doing this time? No, I'm doing it this time as a bonus action, and I don't think I had it on because I didn't take off a spell slot. So Okay, you would lose the second attack, then. Oh, all right. Well, it doesn't matter. I hit with the first one anyways. <laughs> if you like, would you like... Oh, okay. pretty- I'm going with the pretty... You know, this, this pretty die is my first attack, because the other die is rolling like shit. I think I feel like you did Hunter's did. Mark last did time. Did I? Yeah, I because what happens is if you like, you cast also- Hunter's Mark and hits That's with fine. a 23 I mean, to hit. Nine points of damage. Oh, it doesn't really go. matter. Well, and I'm then- going to roll damage for... Oh, okay. Maybe I did. No, I remember missing twice, though. So, all right, well, that's 11 plus, what's my plus here? My plus four. Holy crap. All right, so that is 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage. It tries to make that shark bite at you. You instead take (coughs) your scimitar? Yeah, Yeah, that'd be the scimitar. And you slice right across its neck, and it slumps onto the boat. Oh my god, it's down? It's down. Oh, you shit. guys have been focusing all your attacks on this one. <laughs> move out all the way. Then I get a move, right? Oh no. Have yeah, 20 I get a feet move. into the water is me. With I'm the going one. down to I'm going to do. I, I actually have like an athletic. Do I have athletics? Yes, I do. I have athletics, so I can swim. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go diving in the water after Riley. Uh, what is your strength score? My strength score? Not the modifier, score? the score. 17. 17, so that's eight feet. You leap over into the water, make your dive. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. Uh, not bad. Uh, 12 plus 5 is 17. Okay. Your movement will take you jump, dive into the water. You are right next to Jeremiah. And Riley, and Riley going... All right, Cleo, you're up. Uh, oh. Waking up from bed. Where is everyone? <laughs> <laughs> I would hope you're on the rowboat with us, actually, yeah. at this point. You're you turn a- back and you see Cleo. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave me here with Rosetta? No, I will say you were on the back of the skiff and you got to watch as Riley got launched over into the water. Anja has dived in after him after slaying this beast. Uh, The thing's dead? The thing, the big one is dead. I would say you saw Jeremiah earlier. He also fell out of the boat along with some of the crew. 
uh, but he uh, was attacked down there, and you see this plume of inky blue water kind of come up from underneath the boat, as well as a little bit of a shining light. At the front of the boat, the skiff, oh my goodness, I forgot all the nautical terms I worked so hard to remember <laughs> last session. Uh, Call it a is, dinghy. No, no, it's a skiff. It's, it's a, a dinghy. It's a, it's, if it's a dinghy, none of you are fitting on this thing. I'm already not on it. That's true. All right. That's true. It's a dinghy. The rest of you are all in the water. Sorry, guys. Oh, Bran is very injured at the front of your skiff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wait, you're on the boat thing? Yeah. We were still on the boat fighting a big one that was that was out in the water and emerged to beat up on us. But we were on we're on the edge of the boat. I just dove in. He's still on the boat. And you're dying? No, he, he's really hurt. I am just though. injured. I'll it, 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 it I'm not like in life threatening injury right now. He's got like seven. There are other things points. you can do since there's no immediate threat to me. All right. Yeah. Wait, see what else is attacking us? Something I think it's you attacking can't us see. currently, but we do have uh, NPCs in the water that might need help. And Riley, who's being drowned Riley, by one of them. He's already got like two others. <laughs> you don't know that that's happening. Ah, I don't know. It's not like I have a. Everyone can float. Yeah, it's strange. Riley probably should have popped up out of the water after a while. Make a perception check. Me? Yes. You. Okay. You're trying to see a creature underwater. 24. Good enough. Go ahead. Uh, I need to make that save, don't I? I don't care. Okay. Uh, save is a 17. Cleo. Cleo. <laughs> reading. I'm reading. What's your spell save, DC? Oh, whoa. Where would that be? Oh, for this? Uh huh. My Told the Dead? Yes. Wisdom 50. <laughs> okay. It passes and takes Damn no it. damage. The water just muffles. You hear some sort of noise coming from above, Riley. But it's not probably... missing any hit points? No. No, it's it, it saves, so it doesn't do any damage. Mm-hmm. It's a cantrip. It's save or suck. Damn. So <laughs> with one Sorry. hand, this deep one slashes at you, Riley. Well, no. Let's go with... Uh, Is this three of us Jeremiah. there? Anya Jeremiah. Jeremiah is the odd or even. Odd. Anja, you take the first attack. <laughs> and that is going to be a 24. Ah, that hits. All right. Hey. Finally did some damage. Five slashing damage to you. I need you to make a... Oh, no. A concentration check. Boom. And this is just oh, yeah, yeah. keep holding your breath as something cuts and does damage to you. Actually, I believe Hunter's, uh, Hunter's Mark, I'd have to, I'll have to move, but I believe that is also concentration, is it not? Let's do the water first and then the spell. Uh, concert. Well, that's an eighteen on the die. What's concentration? It's a con- uh, constitution save. As a constitution save. Okay, so it's a twenty. Okay, you're good. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and spell. I make that too because that's a fourteen, sixteen. That's a there sixteen. There you go. And Riley, it takes a bite out of you. Does a fifteen hit? AC sixteen. Oh. Yeah! Just jerk, kind of put your claws in its mouth a little bit as it tries to bite you and it backs off. And we go back to the top of the round to Jeremiah, who will swing his mighty great sword and a huge arc. And that is a three on the die, and he misses. <laughs> but you see the water go as it kind of swings on by. We are to Riley again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get free again. Is this acrobatics? All right, go ahead and roll. Um, an 11. 
An eight. You break free. Um, if you'd like to move up to the surface, you may. <laughs> yes, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to the surface, and I'm taking a very large breath. You are good to go. <laughs> cool. Uh, how, how far? How deep is a deep one? I didn't realize that it was that you far underwater. You were uh, about 10 feet deep. Okay. So if you wanted to take that breath, come back down, you could swim back down five feet. But I have no more actions. No, you don't really have many actions. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go up to the surface, take a very long breath, and the next round, I'm going to go back down and attack. <laughs> All right. Bran, you are floating. You see Riley's head pop up above the surface. Uh, and he's like 20 feet away, you said? He is 20 feet away, yes. I'm assuming there's rope in this boat. <laughs> yes, there is. I was going to say, it's going to be a very poor boat if it didn't have rope. I will toss a, a large coil of rope to Riley. <laughs> and that's what's been holding the boat together. <laughs> no, that's the duct tape. That's, that's the flex tape. Yeah, that's, the, that's the potatoes. That's the potatoes and the uh, 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 the like, yams. Yeah, yeah, the yams. <laughs> uh, the great memories. Okay, uh, give me an athletics check to see if you can get it over to him. Keeping the keeping the trend. Uh, eight total. Gosh, see, Cleo wanted Jeremiah to die, too. What's the way wrong with you people? Do you like my poem? I mean, I sung it out at the song. It was a great one. What'd you roll, Bran? Eight. Eight. It's just short, about 15 feet of the 20. You wanted to get to it, though. But Riley's treading water at the moment, so that's better than nothing. Uh, we are... Down to number nine. He's dead, bleeding out. Uh, Anya and Cleo, you guys are up. Anya first. You're just never going to get my name. It's Anja. Ah, that's right. Sorry. Nope. So, I'm ready for the next part. All right. So I, I see it in chat, actually. Uh, underwater combat rules. I believe there is some underwater combat rules. Mm -hmm. What is it? There are some depending on the weapon, so the underwater weapons, as the DMG and the player's handbook say, um, which are essentially more or less piercing weapons. If you're slashing with a scimitar, that is going to be at disadvantage. Okay. Short sword is... Is that piercing? What the hell is the type on this? I believe short sword is piercing. Short sword is piercing, right? Okay, so it'd be disadvantage on the scimitar and short sword at normal. Uh, I can I swim up to? Oh yeah, something just attacked me, so I'm something gonna hit. Something just attacked you, so you I'm can. gonna hit it. Yep, All right, short so sword is good. I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use a d12. Scimitar. Oh, that's going to freaking miss because I rolled a 17 and a 2. So an 8's not going to hit. No, it's not. All right, but well, you still have a short sword. I do, and that rolled a lot better. That was 15, 21. That'll hit. And that's a D. Oh, and I moved Hunter's, sorry. Bonus action first, I would move Hunter's mark on this guy. That would mean that your... It's a bonus uh, action. Which you're using to make that second attack. That was Oh, right. All right. Nope. Then you're right. I keep forgetting that's a bonus action. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm a mean DM. I'll keep no, you straight. No, 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 no. Keep, <laughs> keep you straight. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Rude. All right. But it doesn't matter. I had, to mo I had to move it on to him. Okay. I should just attack with the damn short sword. I don't know. It's up to you. Nah, that's okay. I'm we'll just gonna right. go with it. She'll, she'll continue. She'll try to act with both. Cleo, the water is frothing in front of you, thirty feet away. What would you like to do? It's thirty feet away. Which is bolt? <laughs> Make that perception again, please. <laughs> and get ready for the bad news, everybody else. Oh 
Oh shit, seven. <laughs> How much does lightning travel? Lightning and water? water? <laughs> Hopefully less than 10 feet. Yeah, that's a... You don't see well enough. You're not sure. Do you still want to just shoot the witch bolt in the general direction? I would, would I not see? Did it like attack someone? It, it is like, in the water, very far away from you, 10 feet down. You had that 24, the first one, which is how you caught the glimpse of it, but things have moved around since. Really? Oh, so stupid. I know. If you don't mind ruining your hair, you could jump into the water yourself. I, mean, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> No, we're not going. I anywhere. save all the mean stuff for when Caitlin uh, is on the same show as me, and then I just let it all go. Yeah, salt water is a bitch up to your hair, so it gives it nice waves, though. That's yeah. true. So I love personally well, then, I love salt water. Then maybe it's maybe it's not a bad thing if you could jump in the water. All right, ladies, oh, no, ladies. No, no. what is Cleo thinking. doing right now? <laughs> I'm going in the water. She's like, no, that looks really cold. <laughs> is it? <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, it's comfortable. Tropical waters. All that war- um, all that blood's warming it up. Right. <laughs> it actually might be cooling it down, but yeah, sure, we'll go with it. <laughs> I guess I'll just cast blasts on everyone. Hey, you I can like see that Bran, so much. You can see Riley, and there's yourself. Aww. As well as any of the ship's crew, if you want to. But they're all actually terrified at the moment of what's happening. Wait, who do I see? I think you only get three anyways. You only get three. You see Riley, you see Bran, and yourself. Oh, you don't Uh-oh. see me. Oh, I'm underwater. All right, You're I'm underwater. underwater. Mm-hmm. All right, then I guess it's us three. All right. And with that, we are back at the top where Jeremiah swings his great sword greatly. Uh, Jeremiah, what's your strength? Oh, Jeremiah. that'll hit. Well, that's a body part. It's supposed to be a thing. And it's so like, I'm that... thinking Jeremiah was a bullfrog, but it's... Jeremiah! Whoa! Oh, it is! A body part! Oh, now we sign like a piece of cardboard. Damn it. All right. Okay. Uh, He takes a swing. There's a bright flash in the water for a second. And Jesus Christ, this is why you don't have paladins. I'm glad none of you are paladins and I'm going to kill Jeremy. Aren't you? I am so glad. All right. Uh, But that gives us back to Riley. There's a flash of water underneath you. What would you like to do? Do I... See the deep one 10 feet below me in the water. (laughs) If you dunk your head underwater. (laughs) How would Eldritch Blast work underwater? You would have to try. (laughs) I'm going to try it. I'm going (laughs) to, I'm going to dunk my head and, and just to see where it's at and then pop my head back up to uh, do the verbal component. Like you're bobbing for apples. For your yeah, life. so I'm. I know that this is going to be rough because I'm not actively looking because I have to do you're the verbal not component. Actively looking, that's right. So yeah, this yeah. Is a disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm still going to try the Eldridge Blast. So let's see. Well, the first roll was a 23, oh, and the second roll was an 18. That'll also hit. Nice. So it, I hit the deep one with an Eldridge Blast, maybe. I don't know how this works underwater. Um, Roll a d10. Nine damage. Blast damage. All right. (laughs) It got wrecked. But you can't tell because your head is above water. That's fine. (laughs) Uh, I'd like to see if I can find the deep one in the water. Go ahead and roll a perception. Twelve. Twelve. I'm going to say with the bright flash from Jeremiah's smite, that's enough to help pinpoint you in the right direction and you kind of have an idea where it's at. All right. I will attack it with a dart. Okay. It's going to get some cover because you're going from out of water to water. Doesn't matter. Water. I rolled a three. I haven't rolled. I have, the highest I've rolled is a 10. So, five. so I'm guessing a D4 won't help that case. Uh, no. 
that's <laughs> I, I don't think uh, a 12 is going to hit it. It's strange. You throw that dart and it just starts skipping over the waves. Uh, let's see. Ooh, six skips. That was a good one. Ooh, I'm impressed <laughs> if I could see it. Right? I just picture some like giant creature coming up and like <sighs> chomping it. Like, oh, gets like, that's the surprise guys the combat isn't over there's another one I should have put a light on it and gone fishing with it <laughs> <laughs> alright Anja, Clea you are up oh no wait who's up I don't think I let the uh, deep one go last time yeah he texted you no I think yeah, maybe you're out of order I was going to say Clea I... already went this round I Cleo... she she cast yeah, the, the bottom of the round. She Actually, cast... the deep one is the bottom of the round, and I jumped yeah. past the deep one to yes. go to Jeremiah and Riley. I think you attacked. He you tried to turn, attack. Then. You attacked me. I think. I think that was last turn. Let's see. I have oh, my notes. Oh, the deep one swings what? and hits Anja with five slashing yeah, damage. You know she what? makes a concentration check to hold her breath. Oh, that was the round before that. Yeah, you know there what? You All right, so that fine. Yeah, yeah. Go. Ahead. <laughs> Bring it, Jabroni. All right. With quick, quick movement, you see mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the deep one disengages and starts swimming away. Mm, well, I can I can try hitting him, which I'm going to do because he disengaged. So I believe I can have a reaction to hit him or try. If he disengages, disengages he does rid of not. A, oh, he disengaged. Oh, yeah. he did the whole disengage thing. Oh, yeah, and he get out of range. Mm -hmm. As he does, he just takes a bite from the other deep one as he goes underneath the skiff on his way back out to the ocean. And with that, we will go uh, back to Anja and Cleo. Anja, okay. you are underwater. You see it swimming away. Cleo already go. Uh, no. Cast blast you... the last yeah. round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that was the last round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I don't. Know. I go. I guess there's not much really to do. It's swimming away, and I think I'm just gonna go back to the boat. All right. There's nothing else, right? <laughs> I'll make, make a perception. Drowning. I'll make a perception check. <laughs> Well, no, Jer is Jeremiah actually drowning? I thought he was Make a perception I thought he was okay. <laughs> uh, 19 plus... What the hell's perception? Uh, 23. No. I'll see. Yeah. You see through the cloud that was once the blood from the previous deep one. It is swimming well and past the boat. The dead one is just now falling off the skiff and into the water proper. Jeremiah is wearing heavy plate armor. He is unable to swim himself. Oh, up. all right. Well, I'm gonna then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to aid him. All Help right, we'll up. keep that in mind. Cleo. Well, I think at this point we can call the combat over. You guys are far enough out in the water that there's not really too much in the way of waves. The crew is incredibly freaked out by now. Just to see how Jeremiah does underwater. With your help, he yeah, does sure. manage to get up to the surface and you can help him up to the boat. And if you like, you can row to shore. We do. I will make sure everyone gets back in the boat. Uh, look for the most serious injury as we start rowing back or rowing to shore. Okay. Who is uh, rowing? Crew. Yeah, I, I didn't do so hot last time I tried to help with that one. Okay. <laughs> you did All... go really well in circles, probably flagging the deep ones to come eat you. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep a lookout this time. <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to go with your passive perception on this. Uh, you guys shore over to Island. Um, Riley, it's a typical tropical island with a smoking volcano in the center of it. Uh, occasional spits of lava um, and you manage to get on the beach there is some debris here and there um, the crew is mostly uninjured 
besides you guys, Nuki probably looks the worst, and that's because it's a wet cat. A very <laughs> unhappy wet Aww. cat. And honestly, probably worst of all is the crew itself. They're shaken. They're freaking out. Uh, at which point, um, Captain Kenza and Aiden, first mate Aiden, start shouting orders. Uh, the captain says, we're on the far island from the side where the city of the Farzine is. We're going to have to spend the night here on the beach, but let's make camp further down the shore, hopefully away from those things. Are there any uh, salvageable, salvageable goods on this shore right now? Go ahead and make an investigation check. Any of you guys who want to participate in that camp? Sure. Uh-huh. Otherwise, uh, um, she moves her crew and you guys further down the beach. Oh, cool. Only a seven because I rolled a six. Investigation, you said 18. 18? Uh, you just see ropes, uh, bits of wood here and there. Um, by the time you guys end up making camp someplace, let's see. Okay. I want to. I want to keep us as close to the edge of the beach and away from the water as possible. I mean, yeah. I don't think it really matters where we are on the beach. I mean, if they're they're out in the ocean. If we're closer to the trees, at least we can possibly retreat into them. Right, You exactly. seem to like the ocean more than that. Yeah, I mean, heck, if we could just even just get right inside the tree line, you know, as, use it as cover. Sure. Would you like to make the survival roll to see where you guys are at? Uh, sure. Yeah. I will certainly try. And at this point, while you're rolling those dice. 17. That will certainly help you guys out. <laughs> if you recall, and to the listeners out here right now, I am a mean DM, and there <laughs> are some homebrew rules. One of them is if you are trying to attempt a long rest, you have to have at least two of three things. You have to have comfort, which could be a good meal or a cozy place to sleep, a combination of those. You need security. You need to know that you are slave, safe. They're a little bit safe to sleep there for the night. That could be a good amount of people on guard, walls, uh, so on and so forth. And finally, serenity, which is the ability to just kind of relax in the situation you are. You can be comfortable as you like in hell, but hearing the screams of tortured souls, you're not going <laughs> to get a lot of rest. Unless you are Riley, then that's right up your alley. Uh, as long as there's a good book. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. I'm actually uh, probably going along, finding some vegetation, you know, any flowers and leaves that look interesting and pressing them in the pages of my book, taking Aww. some notes. That's okay. cool. I'll give me a nature check just for the fun of it. And okay. a D100 on top of that. To make sure you don't pick the poison ivy. Shh. Well, I got an 18 on nature. All right. And D100... Is a nine. Ooh. Wow. Uh, yeah, you pick uh, an interesting looking flower, you press it into your book, and that's that. <laughs> Among some other interesting stuff you can find along the way, you do find other flowers, other plants that you've never seen before, um, but look particularly interesting. Um, you find a decent place to sleep. Aiden, um, at the behest of Kenza, begins shouting orders to the crew. Find some lumber. Get stuff tied up. This is where we're sleeping tonight. Orders are around. And once he sees that the orders are being followed, um, even with the glances from the crewmates, he seems sure. And he walks over to you. Look. You guys have helped us up enough already. But we need something either fresh to eat or something maybe 
figure it out from one of our barrels. We've just had the magic berries from last night, and I think we I need make, something. How many new. of us are there? Oh, my goodness. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I, can you make, five. Can make, I can make ten more of those. Three. Well, now here's the other thing. I think there was like 12 or 13, because you end up casting yeah. it twice to make sure that yeah, there was enough I for know. everyone. Here's the thing with magic food. If you listen to old stories, when fairy creatures offer you magic food, you don't take it. Yes, you can eat magic food, but if you eat it too many nights in a row, it will have inadverse effects upon you. It doesn't say that in my spell. <laughs> this the is hell Cthulhu. Kind of crap this is, that? is... <laughs> And it's only the second night in a row. All right, well, in a pinch. Well, think of it similar to the uh, uh, my long rest rules. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Food yeah. feeds the soul, the body, and the mind. Magic food feeds the body without the soul and the mind. The nourishment doesn't last. You could eat good berries for some time, but it's not going to do quite as well as having real actual food. Great. Now I want to see his rules on a ring of sustenance. Uh, you will survive. Mm. I'll give you that. So, question. Did I find any food, like berries and stuff, in the foliage when I was uh, looking at the plants? You did find some bright uh, red, white, and black berries that kind of look like eyeballs. Um, cool. I'm going to pluck a bunch of those and bring those back for everyone. Alright. You're uh, in a tropical climate, correct? You are in a tropical climate. I, suppose I, I, will, I can use survival checks. To yes, I will use survival too. check. I want to try to see if I can find some coconuts. Possibly bananas. Go ahead. I like it making a smoothie. We don't have a yeah. blender. <laughs> we could maybe we can make a makeshift like mortar and pestle. There we go, finally. Yeah, nice. Nineteen. 19? Uh yeah, you are able to kind of go inshore a little bit. Uh you do find bananas. Uh while you are in there though, uh you also spot tracks of boar. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll bring back the bananas and I will inform everyone there are wild animals here. There's at least one boar that was here fairly recently. Uh, I'll go hunting. Boar sounds kind of yummy right now. Kind of like pig. I kind of want to rest up before I go after a boar. Yes, I'm going to take a long... I'm going to take a... Uh, a short rest. I'm actually unless I'm finding a, a really huge boar, that's freaking creepy. Those are the Those berries, are the berries. You found. <laughs> they look like freaking eyeballs. That's what they are. He said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'm actually in decent shape right now, so I'm gonna go. I'll go hunting. Okay. Do I have a, uh, I have a hand cross. I do have a hand crossbow, so I can try shooting. Cleo. Cleo. How are you doing? Go with Anja. Yeah, you. All right, I'll go with Anja. We're going hunting. All right. What is your favorite terrain, Ranger? Uh, let's see. Because I don't I like gonna remember a pan. Uh, let's see. What is it? it's Tropical for? Island. You leveled <laughs> up so long ago. You can't remember. Ah, uh, forest. No, I think I get that right off the bat. So, yeah, forest. Okay. So is this considered forest? I don't recall in the book if the jungle is a terrain. All right. Is it close People enough to forest? On Twitch. Uh, I feel like jungle would be its own terrain, but I don't know. That's what I feel like personally, and you know, you're on the boat, I, don't, I honestly don't freaking care. I'll roll whatever. Oh, she will. 
awesome. She's going to fail this role so Shut hard. Up. No, I believe in you. It's it's totally cool. There is not jungle, so I am going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Jungle, if you are <laughs> in the jungle, you have the forest terrain. Give us the good stuff. Okay, so I have a favorite terrain type here, which is forest. Your proficiency bonus is doubled. Mm -hmm. So let's try to so it'll be a plus four while traveling. And uh, yeah, well, it'll be great when we actually go traveling. Because mm -hmm. then I'll make it a lot easier. Uh, you find twice as much food while foraging and while tracking creatures. You learn the exact number, size, and how long ago they passed through the area. Let's see if that's... Let me check something on that, if that's part of the whole hour. If traveling for an hour or more. I think that's part of the if traveling for an hour or more. Yeah. But I will still get the plus, the additional proficiency. So I'm making what? Survival? Making a survival check. That was not great. Uh, that's an you 11. split the party. That's right. Uh, well, that, it's 11. It's over a 10. Yeah, no. Um. Yeah, this ground is very strange. Right. You are right. able. Go ahead. No, sorry, it's it's sorry, it's thirteen. Thirteen. This ground is strange. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thirteen might make a difference. I don't know. It's going to be thirteen boars. That's ah! what you find. Oh no. <laughs> Did I mention they're dire boars? Oh, shit! <laughs> no. There Bye. are they dire creatures now, actually. Uh, welcome to Cthulhu. Uh, there are now. <laughs> they just changed their names. <laughs> they just changed their names. Yeah. You they find some flying dire. polyps uh, boars. Uh, they're strange, twisted-looking creatures. Make a sanity check. And... What? Huh? No. I, I was going to say, what? All right, back through. You are traveling through this jungle. Uh, you have that sort of familiarity with the forest. This is definitely a little bit different. Thicker underbrush. The ground is very moist. It's making it perfect for this tracking. Moist. Yeah, moist. <laughs> um, and these boar tracks are are uh, sinking fairly deep into the mud, leading you to think that this is a big boar. Very fat. Probably good to eat and as you're following this trail, there's points where there's some black rock here or there um, where the footprints disappear for a while, like um, from volcanic. Yeah, lava. You might think. Yeah. And you lose it for a while and you get back to it eventually. And you are gone from the camp for we'll say an hour and with, I have Cleo with me. You so. have Cleo with you and you can decide to turn around and go back oh. or you can continue following this boar. In which case I'm going to give you all that extra goody information you get from tracking it for an hour. Oh, cool. All right. I'm going to, do you want me to make another check? You do not need to make another check. All you right. just need to tell me if you're going to continue <laughs> forward or not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue forward. If I don't, if I'm not gonna go that much for a guy. I mean, I've been out for an hour, which is kind of yep. a long time. Mm -hmm. Do I feel like okay? Do I feel like it's possibly? Am I closing, getting closer to it, or no? You are getting closer to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, then I'll keep going. Okay. If it, if Cleo's okay too. You okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I assume so. I'm just yeah. staring at Cleo, what are you me. doing? You are following this woman through the jungle. Just every once in a while you see eyeballs staring out at you in the form of these guys. Uh, there are some jungle. odd clicks here and there. Uh, are you just quietly following behind as your dress or your gown here and there just kind of <laughs> gets plucked by these strange plants? Oh. Are you saying anything on this? I would assume I'm holding my like dress. Sure. Uh, whatever it would touch the ground, I would hold. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I'd be like, why are these flowers? Why don't they smell good? <laughs> kind of this. It smells so bad. Ugh. 
just be complaining the whole time. I will comment a little like at the dress and like, you know, you probably need to get something a little more practical. <clears throat> Do you have anything else to wear other than dresses? Can you bring my bikini with me? I didn't think we're gonna. No, be you don't. You, oh God, you do not want a bikini. There's like all these <laughs> things that are frigging, you know, all these branches and stuff that we're gonna have to go through. You're Those will hurt. <laughs> As no, you just... guys are saying this, there's a strange man looking out from between a couple of blinds. <laughs> you notice him, and he closes the blinds. You talking about my neighbor next door? <laughs> I am talking about your neighbor next door. Oh, that's creepy. Inside joke. All right. And creepy. All right. So we'll just, we said, I'll just be careful. That's all. Um, okay. I, I'm going to try to make the way as easy for her because to, to help traverse sure. and keep track of this friggin' boar. Yeah. Uh, you continue following the tracks deeper. Sure. And then more tracks start to appear. Mm. There are several boars of all about the same size and it's at that point Shit. you see a much larger boar track that is about twice as deep into this thick um oh gosh loamy soil as the other ones and you uh realize you're tracking a giant boar and its piglets Aww. And uh, what's your uh, passive perception right now? Passive? Passive, passive perception? perception is 14. All right. 16 with your double in the woods. Uh, yeah. There are sounds of boar. Very, very <laughs> close so nearby. Freaking far, damn it. And uh, hey, Riley, Bran, uh, they've we been gone for a for while. A How are you guys week. doing? They're making drinks. Yeah. You <laughs> take the short you rest. Of... Let's and... See how I'm doing then. <laughs> huh? Let's see how I'm doing then. Yeah, sure. Riley, uh, are yeah. you uh, rolling? I, yeah, I'm helping advice? with the shelter. I'm. I'm oh, you're helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting some brush and I'm I'm braiding it and making little like canopies for us and i'm helping everything out <laughs> uh give me a charisma roll, please <laughs> charisma charisma i know that's your terrible your no worst, that's my best right? stat. That is i just his... got a 20. 20 i know what your best stat, mr warlock modified 20 yeah no uh you start working on this and the crew is giving you some nasty looks and they're whispering to each other and when you get close, they stop whispering and uh, wow. yeah, start tying some stuff up with you. Uh, uh, eventually, uh, Nebby comes over and she begins helping you out with the tent that is going to be for the rest of you guys uh, as well. Anja, I apologize. I realized I forgot you made a perception or an investigation roll of 18. Yeah, that's right. Way back when. Way back when. So we will say that you told Bran yeah. and Riley that there were some um, interesting looking salvage farther down the beach if they were to go after that. Okay. Um, but you were busy getting the boar for everybody else. Or trying um, to. Yeah, trying to do that. And so, yeah, Riley, Nebby starts talking to you. Uh, anytime you kind of go and look over there, she tries to distract you with an interesting new topic uh, talking about Garana and how it's used to keep people up late at night. You know, if you don't get enough sleep, you can chew on this stuff and it tastes god awful. But uh, it'll keep you up and moving around for a couple more hours. Uh, some say that if you use it the right way, you can move twice as fast as uh, normal, but doesn't know if anything's involved without that. Then she talks about bananas. And did you know bananas have seeds on the inside? You know, you just eat through them. You never nearly notice them. And and some people believe that those are actually spider eggs. That spiders crawl up into the bananas and just kind of lay their eggs in there. But what that's the full honky. You've never heard that? What that's that? what I heard as a kid. All right. First of all, did you know that the bananas we eat nowadays 
um, are a clone version of bananas that used to exist because the bananas that used to exist are gone. <laughs> like the right candies is how bananas used to taste and they don't taste like that anymore. And then the, this species is now going on extinction as well. So they like have to clone another banana. Now imagine that in the voice of an old Irish woman, and that's the other notes that are given to you by Nettie. <laughs> I, I mean, bananas. magical bananas, you know, the magic banana spell. So, Jules, well, can bananas. I roll an insight to see that she's trying to distract me or something? Yeah, you can make that if you like. Cool, that's a 14. A 14, okay. I'm not going to roll it in the damn box because I can't see it when I roll it in the damn box. Okay. Nebby talks a lot. And to be fair, you never made really good friends with any of the crew on here. Knocking some of them off the boat when you ran it into the sandbar. Making it take longer and using up more food for the trip. Uh, having them stay at Rosante for a while. Uh, did not bode well for them. They don't like you, and Nebby seems to be the only one who who actually has some interest in you. Aiden, Aiden has some interest in you as well from your time navigation, but it, it, that's what you would kind of figure, I think. Whether you think she's keeping you from them so you don't get hurt, or if she's just the designated babysitter of you. That's up to you to decide. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's fine. And Bran, uh, how'd you do healing-wise? You back up to full strength? Not quite, but doing much better. Once I have patched myself up, rested a little bit, I plan on... Uh, going to find that salvage that Anja pointed out earlier. Sure. And I'll say if you wanted to, you notice the same thing that Riley does, uh, uh, <laughs> that he is not really welcomed by the crew and that Nebby mm -hmm. is babysitting him. If you wanted to take him along with you, you can do that or you can explore yourself. That is up to you. What are you thinking? I actually leave him to his... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I leave him to his uh, <laughs> own plight. Uh, mm -hmm. And I will simply take a moment to have, I guess you could call some peace and quiet. And uh, just uh, try to find the salvage and see what else might be around the shoreline. Sure. Yeah, you go out towards the salvage, start looking around. Um, at some point, you feel something rub up against your leg. And you look down and it's Nuki who then makes a beeline into the trees and she disappears off into the jungle. And you start looking for salvage. You do find some box, some crates. They have sailors tack in them. And with your perception, you notice several bodies on the shore. We'll go investigate the bodies. Right. Anja, Cleo. There is a giant boar sniffing around. What would you like to do? Oh, God. Do I, how big is this thing? It is a large creature. One step up. Ugh. I look at... Well, hold on. Let me or do something. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's large. I figure it's large. No. Yeah. Uh, you would I... say it is moving in your general direction. I'm gonna, yeah, hiding is great for me because I should roll at a disadvantage. Uh, all right, I am I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to hide. Uh, signal Cleo. One of them's coming this way, and I go. So, how much do you want pork tonight? Should we take it on, or should we? let that thing be because it is it's, it's it is a large creature so it is very big what if we i don't know it'll hurt i, I wish i'd just be like how much health does it have i don't think we know that oh, interesting a lot 
<laughs> a lot. <laughs> Might be able to do it. I mean, two I will... of you guys took down a giant deep one, so... Yeah, I mean... This is just a giant boar and its babies. It'll be fine. I mean, if it didn't have the babies, if it was just the one... If you don't, if you don't want to take this thing on, we can go back. Or we could start running and come with us. Start running and what? They'll follow us. They'll come with us. We like what we brought. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, you don't. I really think that's a great f- idea. Everyone on the shore can help out. Yeah, see. You just have to run a little and over a an fucking hour, hour man. <laughs> uh, half a marathon. I mean, I mean, you can I was run a good straight runner. to the beach, and that'll be faster. But you don't know where on the beach you might show up. You just need to run faster than Anja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, give me that stealth check, Anja and Cleo. Disadvantage. Oh, that oh, was a threat disadvantage. <laughs> I have to roll at disadvantage because of my armor. Uh, that's a 13, so it's not terrible. Okay. Wait, does that bonus... Is that all? What kind of... What wow. that bonus, uh, <laughs> I'm not stealthy. <laughs> What'd you roll? Five. How about your group can't become... Plus... Uh, Anja, do you think you're well hidden enough for a boar? You may have dealt with them uh, previously. Uh, Cleo, you step on a branch and you just hear the... Oh, shit. Feel something churning on the ground. And uh, let's give you guys an initiative roll. If it attacks, I'm totally doing this then. You guys die from a boar. Oh, fucking, so fucking terrible, man. Seven. <laughs> Seven initiative. And Cleo? Eleven. Oh, hey. Not bad. Well, no one's surprised as this large boar comes charging out and just essentially tries to stab at the thing that made noise. It is going to roll at disadvantage because it's just charging under this underbush. It doesn't know exactly where you are, Cleo. Okay. So I'm going to give you some benefit of the doubt here as you about to die. Does a 13 hit? Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, because I am at 13. Right? You are so 13. Have... That is true. Uh, right. you, and da, you don't da, have, da, da. like, mage armor. Sucks. Or shield. <laughs> or shield, yeah. All right. That is going to be 11. Oh, shit. Damn you take it? an extra actually, 2d6. Actually, Kyle, Kyle uh, before we get into combat, would have uh-huh. would Jeremiah have followed Cleo as a bodyguard? You know, that is a good point. Hmm. Or was he too injured? He's still resting at the camp. Cleo, give me a d100. What happened or... to the d12s? <laughs> The three D12s versus each other. Oh, no, That's... no. D100s. I like to find out the It rarity. is a Cthulhu thing. D100s is. is the Cthulhu thing. So. Mm-hmm. 22? 22. Jeremiah is with you, and he <laughs> is in some Thank... decent health. Thank Meanwhile, I that. have some terrible, awful news. What the it's hell? really 11 damage? Or... I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, this is going to be 46. What? Because it charges through the woods at you. Oh, so I'm dead. You might be dead. If it's uh, 40 so have damage? 10. Uh, you gotta, six, he's he's going to go, it's going to double your full hit points. You take 19 damage. You oh, yeah, I'm done. done. You're I'm done. out. <laughs> I'm dead. You're just, you know, you're just unconscious. That's not double your hit points, right? Mm, no, I'm 18. So at this point. And you're fine. You're, what, neg, so you neg one? Why does Kyle put things in the game to kill us? I don't know. <laughs> it's D and D, man. That's how it works. Uh, in which oh, case, uh, Cleo, shit. it's your turn. Roll a D twenty. God damn it! Oh yeah, wait. Boom, boom, boom. Is Cleo dead? Dead? 
She's no, she's. Up. That's the whole thing. I threw you off the entire time. Oh gosh, let me roll for Jeremiah while I'm at it. Oh, we could just, we could. Just, he has actually the board doesn't know I'm there. Does the board know Jeremiah is there? Right, a nine. What do I have to roll? A ten. Yeah, so I fail. One fail for Cleo. Yeah. Did Jeremiah hide? I mean, he has plate, so he has disadvantage. Yeah, so I did too. He rolled two 18s on the die. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah is a stealthy motherfucker. Shit. He is stealthier than oh, Anja. Shit. Anja, you look and you're like, uh, shit, where did Jeremiah go? I go. Um, and like PETA, he opens up his eyes from <laughs> blending into a tree, perfectly planted. And he will take a swing with his great sword. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we could always just hide until the friggin' thing leaves, and then I could heal her. But that's up to. I mean, assuming it doesn't try to eat Cleo. I mean, I bring mean, it back to her. I babies. mean, you you are RPing him, so if you feel that's right, I don't mind take doing no, this. Jeremiah's job is to protect Cleo, and that's okay. what he does. There you go. As he That's swings fine. his sword right into a sapling tree and gets it stuck. Oh, shit. God damn it! <laughs> um, oh, that's wonderful. But hopefully he has the. But hopefully is the thing's attention. I it, my turn. It is I your guess. turn. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to. I'm gonna try to make a stealth check. Her, 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 uh, to get over to her. Okay. <gasps> you hear my neighbors playing their music? Right there, outside. Well, that was actually really good. I rolled, believe it or not, my two rolls were 16 and a 19. So that's 16 plus 4 is 20. 20? Yep. You stealthily move over to Cleo. All right, then I'm going to burn an action to cast. Uh, I'm going to cast my berries. Uh, going to have to to save her. And then I'm going to feed her one to basically put her at one hit point and stabilize her. Okay. Oh, I don't know. It's a feeding or imagine might be an action, wouldn't it? And I think it I'm out of action. Yes. All right. So, all right. So I'll Can cast I go to it. jail? I'm going to beat these people up. And all the fucking time they play their music at night, only at night, outside. It's Cleo. fucking raining. Cleo, focus. I can't. You it's so Dad, we cannot hear it. Well, we find it amusing. It is. I mean, I don't know. You really, I don't know why neighbors are playing music when it's flipping. You play it when it's nice out in the middle of summer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the boar goes charging after uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah lets go of the great sword. And, well, actually, yeah. Let's be nice to you guys. He grabs the great sword and just as he pulls it free, it tugs him out of balance, and he ends up uh, missing this giant boar as it goes by him. Cleo, death save. Yeah. Number. Come on, you can do this. Oh, don't roll that one. It's not going to. at my neighbors. Then. Yeah, don't roll on that one. Eleven. That's not that. That's safe. All right, you're good. Jeremiah takes another great and mighty swing. Come on, Jeremiah. Oh my gosh, Jeremiah, you are just barely hitting this thing. I'll take it. I'll Holy take a barely hit. I'm going to say I'm going to stop rolling my good dice for you guys and just go roll my crappy dice. <laughs> um, it'll be better for you guys in the long run. It won't be. <laughs> uh, he slashes. Yeah, and one blow, it seems to just slash the back of its haunch, and it kind of uh, does that step that animals do when they take a big hit. Ooh, uh, ham she hamstrung him, huh? Oh, uh, just about. Anja, you're up. Oh. All right, so I'm going to take, and I'm going to feed her. I believe it's an action to feed her one berry, so I'm going to feed her a berry. Okay. So you're at one hit point. You don't have to make any more death saving throws. And... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'll make another stealth check to move closer to the action. Hopefully, this thing has Jer Jeremiah's attention. So, uh, oh, that's still good. 
I, 14 is 16, so 14 plus 4 is 18. You're good. You're sneaking through the bushes. It doesn't notice. <coughs> and we will go back to Bran. How's it going, Bran? <laughs> I hear you found a couple of corpses on the beach. Uh, how was that? Uh, I don't know. I'm about to find out. I will cautiously move up to them. Okay. Uh, uh, you find two clo- uh, corpses. One of them uh, appears to be a dragonborn. The other a half-elf. Uh, the third corpse is a little bit further along up the beach. Uh, which one's closest? Uh, that would be the Gosh, I had a brain fart. I said a dwarf, a half elf, and one further up the beach, right? You said a dragonborn, no, you said dragonborn a half elf, a dragonborn. and apparently a dwarf is up the beach. Okay. It is not a dwarf up the beach. Uh, the first one, dragonborn, is the one closest to you. Uh, I will move up to it. Um, I would like to see if uh, what clothes it's wearing, if it has any type of distinction upon its uh, outfit, uh, military, uh, organizational, or does it just look like a peasant or like some worker classification, maybe like a sailor, given its garb? You would say, judging by its garb, shirtless, there is kind of this uh, um, half suspender deal that's holding up a pair of pants. Um, uh you would guess a sailor just from a quick glance and the crew that you've happened to be hanging around with so far. Uh, with this corpse, I will, I'd like to make a medicine check to first determine if he's truly dead and to determine if he is dead, how long he's been dead. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. It appears he drowned in last night's shore and washed ashore. He is actually still floating even a little bit the bottom half of his feet as the waves lap up against the body. I will move on to the next corpse. Ch- uh, same thing, check if it's potentially alive and see if it died from the same thing. We'll roll you over. It is um, half elf. This one dressed uh, a little bit more aristocratically, um, although summer gear, so it's not like it washed over from someplace a little bit warmer. You know, uh, just the floof here and there. Um, the corpse does appear to be of an older half elf, but it is also drowned. Do I see any form of insignia of position or country? You going to loot through this corpse? Mm, I yes, because there may be information that's uh, that can identify him since he was an aristocrat. Sure. You find nothing but a ring on his finger. Um, noble house you know the deal behind this and if you pop it off and take a look at it if you give me a history check Thirteen. Thirteen. the circles you've traveled and especially after um your uh, adopted father, um, Corwell, after your mother um, passed, he was more distant with you than ever, and you unfortunately don't know where this uh, half-elf may have come from. All right. I will then move on to the furthest one. The furthest one. This one is actually not floating in the water. It is about halfway up the shore. Uh, Go ahead and make me a medicine check. Uh, Seven, because I rolled a one. 
Ah! Yeah, nice. this corpse has been. Hmm. This corpse is dried out like it's been sitting in the sun for quite a while. Um, something from the ocean must have been coming up at it and sniffing around it. Because uh, there are tracks that lead from the water's edge to the shore to where this uh, uh, corpse is. You can't tell. Honestly, it is so shriveled up. It's hard to tell even the gender of this thing, even judging by the clothes. You know, sailors don't dress entirely different uh, uh, based on their gender. Um But you have heard of something like this happening where certain people catch a strange illness and their corpses, when they die, they tend to uh, shrivel up. But this could be from the sun as well. I mean, this is just a rumor you've heard of in your travels abroad. I will... I will remove my dagger and get it ready. And I will kind of circle it a little bit. Okay. If it is diseased, I don't want to catch anything. That's what the mask is for, I hope. Well, diseases <laughs> can transfer in many different ways. <laughs> okay. I will actually look for possibly a stick or something. Okay. A large branch. Is it on its back or is it facing up? Or, or is it on its back or is it facing down? It is facing down. Then I will take a branch, mm -hmm. something a little long, and flip it upright. I, I assume flip it over? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You do that. It is rigid. And so that motion of where it was like this, it is now facing upright, still looking like it's crawling along the beach. Hmm. Is there anything and, else that identifies it from that way? Not really. The clothes are sailors' clothes. Um, uh, wet on the underside, covered in some wet sand. Um, and you can see something uh, underneath in its shirt. And Anja, Cleo, Jeremiah, how are you yeah. guys doing? I don't know. Waiting for my turn. I will tell you as a natural 20. <laughs> Who is that? Goes to take Jeremiah out. Oh, shit. Oh. No. So luckily, he was not charging, so that's that's a benefit. Oh my goodness! If you could count the sixes I rolled, oh you god would count damn it! Zero. Stop rolling the murder hobo dice. Oh, six zero. <laughs> Never mind. You didn't roll murder. Hobo. There you go. <laughs> you roll the actual like these murder hobo dice. They tend to roll. They tend to like to have the murder hobos come up. Nonetheless, Jeremiah. It takes a, a tusk right in the gut. It slips up underneath oh, the armor. Shit. And Cleo, you are down on the ground. Um, yeah. Strange taste in your mouth. A little funny. <laughs> but From a conscious. berry that was shoved up in there. Yeah. Well, I'm still trying to roll. 14? One more? Oh, you're not doing... Um, no. You are awake. You are on the ground. You no, have I'm awake. One yeah, hit point. Yeah, you're one hit point. Remember, I fed you mm -hmm. a oh. good berry. All right. And you get back a hit point. So it means you're no longer making death saves. So you're conscious. You can do something. You could heal yourself. You could, <laughs> yeah. you could stay on the ground <laughs> and hope that the boar doesn't see you. I. <laughs> what? 
I guess I'll heal myself. I'm sorry. I'm reading my healing hands, and it's like, once per long rest, you can heal someone for two hit points, two yeah. whole hit points. Yeah, Asimar. It's Asimar thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you rather have one hit point? Yeah, you could have three. <laughs> uh, well, I also have your wounds. Yeah. So I might as well do that one, I guess. 1d8. Nice. And it's for the <laughs> solid eight. Okay, cool. If only someone with some common sense went with them, Riley. <laughs> the common sense would have stayed on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you can't just get common sense. Come on. Sure. She's got a 14 wisdom. She's yeah. got common sense. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the player doesn't. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're in a jungle. How much healing did you get? Eight plus five, so what's that? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yep. Not bad. Nice. Anja, you uh, have managed to work your way around the boar. How's it going? All right, so I'm going to, I guess I will, I will Hope step I up. I skipped to Jeremiah. I apologize real fast. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is anyway, so that's ah, fine. shit. I want to. He's busy with a gut wound. Then I'm going to step up and I'm going to try to hit it twice. I've got no more spell slots, so no Hunter's Mark, and that's fine. Oh! <laughs> the first one was a nat 20! And the second one would be a 15. Okay. Uh, the 15 will hit. I assume that then the nat 20 will for sure hit. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be what? 3d6? And since I got two weapon fighting, plus eight. Well, that could have been better. All right. Well, that's still 10 plus eight is 18. I know it's not resistant to shit, so I can combine all the damage together. Sure, sure. All right. And with that, the boar <laughs> does a quick turn, not liking what you just <laughs> did. However, a 12 does not hit you. Yeah. And Cleo, you're up. You're healed yourself. Your friends and your, well, your, your acquaintance and your bodyguard <laughs> are fighting off this boar. What would you like to do? Yes, try to fight it and hopefully not die again. That's up to you. You got two meat shields. You should be fine. You j yeah, I mean... I mean, it's just one giant boar. There's no tiny little boars behind you. Shut up. Alright, so now I can catch... Catch? Wow. Cast <laughs> Witch Bolt? I just really want to use it. You can now what? cast Witch Bolt. Roll a hit. 17 to hit. That'll hit. Yeah. Give me the D12. Lightning. A whole one. <laughs> At least it keeps going until I swap to something else. So it's mm -hmm. fine. No. Uh, uh, the jolt of electricity you hit it with certainly uh, gives it a jolt, Jeremiah. She's already Takes cooking it. Great she's, sword. Already, she's already cooking the boar. In one hand and swings and misses. <laughs> Anja, Jeremiah. what are you doing? I'm going to try hitting it a couple more times. One hit at a time, please. Okay. Well, that's going to miss. Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's a 12, not a 2. That'll help. <laughs> On the uh, die. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. It's sort of been 18. I guess you would like me to roll damage first. Damage first. Uh, eight points. <laughs> is it at one? It is at one. Go ahead. Oh, no. Wait. Yep. Uh, I rolled a one. <laughs> Fuck you, die. All right. Who do you hit instead? Just kidding. We, you miss. 
Okay. Like a sucker. Oh, that's right. I mean, we Cle- decided Cleo's we weren't backed up, do right? That. So Jeremiah's the only one there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, I wouldn't but be we're not guy. doing. You guys said not to. Oh do yeah, yeah. That. We're 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 not doing that. That's right. So you know, mm. it's your own damn fault. No, no, this is this that. is fine. This, this is, is fine. fine. All right, the yeah, boar Frank, takes Frank's another all offended by this swing. Man. He should be. He <laughs> should be. Uh, takes another swing at Anja. Eighteen on the die. Fuck, Twenty-three to beats. hit. Oh yeah, no, never mind. You you beat it. I thought I did. Uh, you take eleven slashing as Ooh. this tusk comes sliding into your side. Ow. Cleo, it has one hit point left. <laughs> That's you do right. have Witch Bolt on it, so all you have to do right now <coughs> is roll a d12 and don't roll a zero. Six! Oh. Do we get bacon? Yes! Yes! Down it goes on the ground. Bacon? And then it stands back up, shaking its head. What? Back to life again. What? The fuck? <laughs> is it an undead boar? It has relentless. Oh shit! And you roll, <laughs> yeah, fuck. And a two on the die does not make Jeremiah hit it. Anja, oh my god, you're gonna have to kill it. It's all on you. It's all on you. But before you roll, uh, Riley, what are you up to? How's the uh, oh for fuck's sake? <laughs> um, I mean, hopefully it's going well. After I finish my hut, I'm gonna try and help other people. You do that, um. It would only be tiny little touches here and there. You know, you could... One of those flowers from your book smelled good. You might be able to run over there, pick a couple more, kind of layer it down where people are sleeping, and it would smell nicer. Nah, 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 nah. I, those were for research, not for decoration. Um, <laughs> Trying to get you to poison ivy, everybody in the crew. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, <laughs> no. I don't know. Does anyone need help? I mean, at least Aiden and Nebby seem to be somewhat friendly. I'll try and help them. Uh, Nebby's trying to prepare food for people, right? Or Nebby, because... Yeah, I will say she uh, is trying to get a fire going. Um, doing a very good job of that, and she's just kind of starting to roast uh, uh, some of the coconuts. Um, along with the juices inside of it, just trying to make this little fruity mixture deal going on. Uh, if you want to try and help out with that, you can give me a survival check. Um, otherwise, everyone's kind of um, doing their own thing. Captain Kenza is staring. Yeah, I tried to help Nebby. I got a four on survival. <laughs> Oh, you grab that green banana and you hand it over to her after you peel it and she puts that in the food. <laughs> we'll worry about that later, uh, Bran. <laughs> what would you like to do with this corpse? So something's moving around underneath its shirt, you said? Nothing's moving around but something is poking out of the wet fabric. You know, it's kind of clinging to the skin, so you can tell that there's something he has underneath and inside of his shirt. And I'm assuming, normally, if it was Ernie who was looking at these corpses, I would assume he was looting them. I'm going to assume something different for you. And I assume if you don't say it, you're not doing it, uh, by the way. So if you... You can learn a lot from looting a body. (laughs) I will check to see what is poking out. It could be of some importance. Mm -hmm. Uh, You see pulling it out uh, wrapped up in waxed leather. um, Just a pouch of what would be some articles of paper. And if you choose to open it up. Yes. Untying the strings, you look it up. It's a bunch of pamphlets, and <laughs> it's, it's like the... nothing you quite. The words you can read the words, but they kind of just kind of they don't 
makes sense. I mean, you can try and dig into it a little bit deeper if you want to. That's I will to wait. You. I will wait. Uh, that is something for another time. Um, sure. I will check his body just to see if there's any form of I can understand that sometimes individuals will hide stuff uh, through ciphers in their works. Mm -hmm. I will just check to see if there's anything else that I think could act like a cipher that he might have on his body. Okay. Give me a constitution saving throw with advantage. You know your medicine. You know that this might be a diseased individual. Mm Mm-hmm. Fifteen. Okay. That is one for Bran. Okay. Uh, no, you do not find anything else on this body. Okay. Um, you do see an empty uh, uh, vial. Um, you would guess it's maybe like a healing from a healing potion would be the best guess judging by the shape and size. But it's empty and drained at this point. I will take it and sniff it. Smells like salt water. Okay. Yeah, bottle's a bottle. It could be cleaned up afterwards. Mm-hmm. I will, if there's nothing else aside from that, I will pull the other corpses out of the water, bring them closer to this body not mm-hmm. next to it exactly but closer mm-hmm. and then I will do a fairly quick prayer for their souls to move on uh, to the Raven Queen for judgment and for them to pass on so that their spirits do not become restless mm. I will take a quick peek at the other two to see if there's anything that would look like a memento, something that maybe looks like might be personal. Obviously, the ring from the aristocrat would work. Mm-hmm. Um, but for the dragonborn, I'll just take a quick peek. The graving queen often seeks memories as payment uh, for soul's passage. So I will seek out anything and present it in a prayer to the Raven Queen if I find anything that looks like it could be of significance to the person. Uh, The dragonborn in question, uh, you determined he drowned last night. Um, Doesn't have much on him. Uh, He has a hand axe, uh, a fairly small one at that of uh, of an interesting kind of uh, design uh, he does have a healing potion as well. I will take that. Okay. And I apologize. No, I'm sorry. There's two healing potions. One was on the both. nobles. One was on that. Uh, those are your basic healing potions. The hand axe of the interesting uh, design. Um, as far as any sort of mementos, not really. Um, sailor wise most sailors the memento is tattooed on their skin here and there and uh, in this particular dragonborn uh, there are an odd gem embedded into a scale here and there I will present this in my prayer I won't take it from him but I will present it in my prayer Okay. And uh, as far as the half elf, the ring, the signet ring would be as close to a memento as possible. You can leave it with him or take it if you wish. I will take it because I want to identify it. Okay. All right. And you do that. Did you take the hand axe or no? Um. In our situation, I will. It may come in useful. Okay. And you say your prayers, and you did find some 
um, tack of a better quality than what was on your ship and what your sailors have now. So you can take some of that back uh, and having found some stuff. <laughs> and we can no longer badmouth Riley for looting a bunch of corpses. Although Riley, you know, never said anything nice about them when they're dead. Anja, I, I, I've never roll. looted a corpse. No. In this. Well, you know what? I did. I did loot the corpses that attacked us, the pirates. Yes, you That's did. That's about it. Uh, they were evil people. It's uh, okay. 16. That'll hit. And you kill the boar. How would you, uh, any special way you want to do this? Uh, too late. You took too long. No, I'm kidding. Basically, I'm going to try to just take his head off, actually. I mean, he won't get up from that. That is true. sees it, you know, like, get it, like, you should have died, and then suddenly he's back up. It's like, oh, shit, and try to lop the, you know, basically lop the head off. Yeah, and a move <coughs> uncharacteristic, you drop the other sword, you take it two hands, and they go, boom, yeah. And Perfect. off the giant boar's head goes. You hear some squealing and some... <laughs> but they disappear off into the jungle. You have a large boar <laughs> between the three of you. Uh, I'll put it around. Make that uh, so everyone can see that, so Cleo and Anja know what they did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we'll head back. Okay. Uh, give me... And you can go with animal handling or survival. Survival's better. Uh, that, that was good either which way. That's a 20. 20. Yeah. You grab a couple of haunches of meat. You manage to get everyone back. Uh, if you want to do some healing beforehand. Mm. No, that's up to you. I mean, you don't have to heal yet. You're probably safe going back to the beach from now. I can give it two hit points. You know what? I can do that. I can take... Uh, you also have nine berries left. I have nine berries left. Uh, I know. We don't really have much. Um, you know, I'm gonna. I'm just going to go. I'll deal with it if I have to. Sure. All right. You travel back. We're going to roll the survival over. Uh, by the time you get back, um, a couple crewmates kind of have some pained expressions on their uh, face from eating something terrible. Um, what happened? I'll go and ask them. <laughs> Which was, I almost am afraid to ask. Did Riley cook something again? <laughs> he, he he helped out a little bit. He, he was just trying his best, says Nebby. Well, I brought uh, something even better than whatever the hell that was, and I have to get the start pulling out the haunches of meat. And Bran, you end up arriving about the same time. And <laughs> yeah, you see a bunch of uh, sick looking crewmates. Um, Aiden and Captain Kenza didn't participate, so they help you out with getting the haunches of boar cooking. And eventually, and I assume that Bran mixes up some sort of yeah, remedy I to will, help uh, out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get the kettle back going and uh, we'll uh, make something to soothe their stomachs. <laughs> Probably also a laxative. <laughs> <laughs> You'll feel better when you drink this. Because everything will just come out of you. Well, actually, there's a lot of coconut, Aww. right? Uh, so we got coconut. We, we can get some All high fiber sisters. going on in there. Mix the other limes. You can mix the lime with the coconut. Yes. Give me a give me a medicine it's check. Okay. Let's see how well uh, your healing uh, uh, science I, goes. I wish you guys could 12. hear this karaoke. Oh, okay, good. Oh, You're able to make up a few doses. I don't think I think I'm perfectly fine not hearing that karaoke. <laughs> Where people sip like, it and after a while sharing amongst themselves, they're able to feel better. The night is setting and everyone seems a little bit more relaxed, although 
a lot of kind of whispers and hush tones are talking and a lot of evil looks towards Riley's direction <laughs> are going on. Um, Bran, you have a high enough perception um, passively. You kind of catch um, that a lot of the crew are while the food is helping their mood, they are really unhappy with this entire trip. Really unhappy with Riley. <laughs> and they're not looking too favorably on the captain herself for kind of the mess that she has gotten them into. Not exactly my forte. So... I will not do what I was thinking of doing. And instead, I will go up to Cleo. Cleo? Please? I think the crew could use your assistance. Wait, for what? They are... Their morale is at a very low point. How am I supposed to help with that? Magic? Aren't you... No, you are a charismatic individual. Oh. The other them. charismatic individual is the cause of all of this. It's like, I don't yeah. have a spell Perhaps for that. tell them a story. I'm going to sing Something them a song. Because that's where we're at. <laughs> that could You're probably reasonably good at that, too, even if you don't have performance trained. Right? I sing. I'll sing a song. Yeah. It's like kind of religious because Yeah. And the it's God what you know. You. It's the God within me. No, no, no. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> that would just make everyone sad. <laughs> I know. That would just Think about all those four piglets all on their own. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. So true. Cleo, oh. give me a performance check. While Cleo is singing, I will begin to go through well. the, uh, <laughs> the uh, like book that I found. Or like the pamphlets. And see this if I can you... make heads or tails of it. By give the way, me an arcana I'm... check. Sorry. You're fine? No, I was going to say, I assume we had an hour there to rest, so I'm going to be... Yes. I'm going to heal with... Um, Hit dice. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, you don't even get the ability check. Give me a saving throw. Wisdom. <laughs> uh, well, I'll take the roll that I did then. That's fine. And just add it in. Uh, wisdom, that'll be a uh, 19. 19. You're reading this book, and there are some interesting interesting information about this something maybe an artist themselves would be more interested in talking about uh this play and how just how enticing it is and oh no i apologize that's the wrong one uh <laughs> No, you um, read of an an island of a wizard sand tomb, and as you continue reading on, you're getting drawn into the book deeper and deeper, and the ramblings get stranger and stranger, and you close the pamphlet just before you're able to feel yourself start to lose it a little bit. Uh, you did not... You passed the saving throw. Um, I didn't. I'd but there I'm is... <laughs> there is a lot of interesting things and it would take a lot of time to actually go through this, this pamphlet. It's thin piece, words written on it. It's not in some sort of crazy, crazy gibberish. And it's not a lot of words, but you feel like 
at the same time just trying to decipher it you you need more time very odd um you enjoy your boar meat i assume um maybe there's a few tears coming down here and there from those who uh, remember the borlets who are now roaming the woods all by themselves um, and that. aiden um Captain yeah, says we got a long walk ahead of us. Ola, Wilka, you take the uh, first watch. Twins, you take the second. You folks, you get some rest. You, the boar was great. We appreciate it. Um, the tack too, Brand. That was great. And thanks for the medicine. Some of them really could need it. And a few of the crew nod their head and thanks. Over that, as well as give Riley a dirty look to the side. Yes. Do we have fresh water? You do have fresh water. How many days worth? You have a couple days worth. Okay. No, you're good on that point. Um, you did have food that you could have eaten tonight instead of the boar. Um, you had some poor quality tech and some potable water. Um but the boar helped morale, certainly. Um, and everyone uh, goes to rest. Okay. Uh, and with that, everyone give me a constitution saving throw. Save, huh? Yep. Oh, Let's see no. if you uh, also catch the disease. What? Seven. Well, I didn't... Well, wait, I didn't eat anything but the boar. Yeah. Sure. Oh, this isn't... Don't worry about it. I got uh, six! That's only a... That sucked. That's terrible. I rolled a four. It was a nat one, but I got a plus five. So it's a six. <laughs> uh, Riley. A uh, Bran. Oh, okay. I have two sevens. Bran, I missed yours. Fourteen. Fourteen. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Wait, here, I got it recorded now for you guys. Two sevens you and a four and a fourteen. Oh, boy. All go to sleep. And I think we'll end tonight there, because we will go oh. way overboard if we continue. That was Don't worry so about good. the saving throws. I'm sure it's nothing. Oh, Bran, give me uh, one more saving throw, too. Time has passed. Oh, well, that would be a nine. Okay. All right. Oh, God. That's, that's, don't worry about that, guys. It's fine. It just tells me how we're going to start next time. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching uh, this episode of Cred. Lots of action going on tonight. A lot of weird stuff you found. Cred! 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 Uh, Craig. Sort of. I will get to that later, Ernie. Red rum. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitter. Uh, take a look at our YouTube archives. This is episode seven of Cred. Yep. Uh, so there's six more that uh, are more terrifying than this one turned out to be, if you'd like to watch that. I mean, one of them has a horrible disease that will turn him into a piece of jerky and the other ones. But, I mean, that's not oh, really yippee. too horrible today. Um, this and... means you're tasty. Ooh. Just squeeze some of that <laughs> guarana juice on you and you are delectable mm -hmm. as well as wired. The best uh, way to meet the ladies. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you want to buy some cool... Uh, Murder Hobo Swag, you can do that by clicking the tiny URL link. Uh, yes, there is a Murder Hobo uh, uh, dildo as well as uh, what? Vicodin and... She'd be like, ah, oh, tried it one approved! That, uh, Viagra? Viagra, there you go. <laughs> not, not Vicodin. <laughs> not Vicodin, Vicodin. <laughs> Viagra. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kyle is the one that just said uh, 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 Murder Hobo approved for the dildo. That's right. Yeah, that's no, what I just it heard. looks like a dagger, actually. 
uh, which makes it all the more uh, pleasant. <laughs> we call it the penetrator. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> if you can't stand to like look at us as we say like... these terrible things, you can listen to our audio podcast. Uh, if you want to join in next Saturday, not this coming Saturday, that is the Calamity Campaign. Yeah! Uh, you can join in on a one shot if you hit us up at mhobo inc at gmail or murder hobo inc at gmail or m hobo m hobo inc at gmail as frank whispers into my ear lovingly and seducingly um talk shit or hit us up on twitter if you talk shit why would i do that that's a terrible thing to do anja um finally we'd like to thank our sponsors pirate dog dice uh, they did not make the dice that uh, helped me kill these people tonight, and I am disappointed in that fact. You didn't Gary, kill us at I all, so dice to kill almost or drive them insane. Give them dice that roll badly, uh, so they fail and go crazy. Uh, and thanks to Adventure Sense, <laughs> I felt like I was swimming through putrid sewers as I sit here with my bowl of. Which honestly is probably uh, it's exactly as Cleo described the jungle to smell. So I was transported magically there. <laughs> Guys, other than that, oh, hold on. Sorry, I have to make my power move. I'd like to thank D again for the artist <laughs> wonderful renditions of these folks' characters. After that, uh, once again, we have Ernie playing Riley. We have Caitlin playing Cleo. We have Carol, Chlamydia Fence Post playing Hi. Anja, and we have DJ as Bran. The DJ! Cream. We're playing the Crit Camp. And with that, campaign. I am Kyle, your DM for the night, who is now saying good night, farewell. And what's that dark shape rising up behind you? Good night.